story begins on the world of Nanotopia, a place that has known peace for countless millennium. This utopian sphere is now home to a society made up of all manner of organic beings living in harmony with their tremendous technological advances. Having long ago mastered the symbiotic relationship between nature and technology, Nanotopia had reached what some refer to as the singularity. However, instead of being an apocalyptic moment, it only increased the harmony between all beings on the world. Every organism, whether humanoid, animal, robot, cyborg or machine, live and work in peace as a one-world community, a Shangri-La amongst the metaverse. The stories of long ago remain on Nanotopia, so old they are recorded on paper. Ancient writings from the elder beings, from a time when this now perfect balance was still a dream. These papers held information about a sacred and powerful force contained within the world, a mysterious force that worked from the inside out bringing peace and prosperity. In these writings, they advised the Nanotopians to find a stasis with their world and a respect for all other beings, and through these actions, their world would flourish. In the practicing of the knowledge passed down from the ancients, the traditional Nanotopians continued to advance, evolve and connect. One of the societies that has formed a Nanotopia of the Fornians, a sort of techno-hippie the Fornians are an interesting people. Their pursuit of new technologies, mixed with their respect and connection to the world and its beings, has led to a distinct technology that pays homage to the natural world. The Fornians hold elaborate ceremonies to feel the power of Nanotopia. During these ceremonies, young Fornians experience waking dreams, each one different and unique, each one connecting them spiritually with a creature of their world. Once a Thornian has experienced this life-changing event, they begin using their mastery of technology and body modification to create an exosuit in the likeness of the animal they have been bound to. These amazing suits, called Anima Armor, are unlike anything else in the metaverse. Built with the look and attributes of their inspiration, the Thornians glide through their world with a natural ease that enhances their connection even farther. The line between nature and technology continued to blur. The more in tune with their world they became, the more it seemed to provide. Most Nanotopians were very content, working in businesses related to the arts, entertainment, recreation or sports. Because of their mastery of technology and nature, these two things coexisted in an almost effortless balance. As the generations passed, the power of this cycle spread through all facets of the world. Even non-Thornians were able to experience the ceremonies and pilot their own anima armor. The more inhabitants to take part in the ceremony, the wider the variety of creatures represented with their anima armors. Over a time, a pattern emerged connecting certain types of animals with specific groups, tribes or cities. Though there were anomalies, life continued this way for Nanotopians. The passing of centuries reinforcing these connections not only with animals, but with the skills and status associated with them. In the way of nature, not all are created equal. Some groups are connected almost exclusively with the more envied animals such as felines, primates and bears, while other groups were made up of reptiles, scavengers and other less physically gifted creatures. Daily living in this evolving world provided little strife on the surface. The inhabitants of Nanotopia gravitated towards contributing to society in ways that naturally coincided with the Anima Armor's abilities. While being logical, this began to cause separation amongst a world built on connection. Those with less physically gifted armor were tasked with the more seemingly mundane occupations. In a world so centered on their animal totems, most reptiles worked out of the spotlight performing tasks integral to the survival of all. One such nanotopian, Sheldon Shelley Tortuga, became just as well known as any Fornian. Possessing extreme intelligence and patience, he has built the largest business on nanotopia, Shell Corp, responsible for building most of the automated labour on the planet. Shelley is a very generous man, giving freely to all manner of causes. He is loved by the citizens. 
Most of the Fornians lived what were considered more glamorous lives, while many still worked in traditional roles as teachers or shopkeepers. There were many Fornians who stood out from the crowd. The shaman, athletes, entertainers and builders being the celebrities of their world. Some of the most well known were the athletes who raced in Ultra Anima, an insane obstacle course style race on a massive scale. Sponsored by Shell Corp, the athletes raced for a track full of natural and mechanical obstacles designed to slow them down. They are treated as heroes and watched by all. Currently, Albert Green and his rabbit inspired Anorama has taken first place, a spot normally reserved for cheetahs, lions, dogs or gazelles.